Hello everybody, this is Brian Farmer, driver of the Team Barista car number 26. Thanks for joining me for this week's Team Barista Champion Motorsports Race Review. This week we're coming to you from St. Petersburg, Florida. We had a disappointing turnout this week with only seven teams showing up to compete, but trust me, there was no lack of action on the track. The St. Petersburg Circuit is a concrete-lined temporary street circuit, and it's very unforgiving. The slightest mistake will cause serious damage to your car at best and injure race at worst. Qualifying turned out to be quite the battle. At the 15-minute mark of qualifying, I went out and put down a 57.495, which is one-tenth better than I'd done all week in practice, so I was happy enough to let it stand. But at about the 25-minute mark of qualifying, Neil Johnson went out and laid down a 57.343. That's .152 of a second quicker. And the race best lap times were just about as close. My best lap of the race was a 59.386. Neil's was a 59.235, which, if you do the math, which I just did on a calculator, is a difference of .152. There's that number again. So with the grid set, we had Neil Johnson on pole, me on second, Steen Nielsen started third, Steen Frana started fourth, Paul Rain started fifth, Kevin Wood started sixth, and Charlie Roberts brought up the back in seventh. I'm sorry, but I have to laugh every time I see this. This is Steen Frana getting a little too much wheel spin on the start. Neil had pole, but I got past him by the time we got to turn one. And I don't know about you, but I don't think he appreciated it. Now my setup required about a full lap and a half before the brakes and tires would get up to temp. So for this entire first lap, he was all over my rear bumper. On lap seven, we were beginning to lap the GT2 car. This is Charlie Roberts up ahead. I haven't been doing this as long as Neil, so I'm being a little too careful in passing these cars, and Neil knows this, and he's taking full advantage. Now up ahead is Kevin Wood in the other GT2 car. He loses his rear end up here at the final turn, and it makes a huge cloud of smoke. I couldn't tell where the actual car was until the last second, and I did manage to dodge to the left and miss him. Neil dodges him to the left, too, but he doesn't quite miss me. But I was able to hang on to it. Lap 9, and Neil finds out just how unforgiving these walls can be. How he was able to keep going, I'll never know. Lap 14, and this is the P2 car of Paul Rain up ahead. He either takes the escape road to let us by, or he outbroke himself. But I checked up just a little, and I think this threw Neil off, as you can see here. But the worst is yet to come. Now, how he was able to drive away from that, I don't know. Lap 33, I've got damage, my tires are shot, and Neil's back on my tail. And I go wide in this corner and Neil gets by. It was time for my pit anyway. So I decided I'd better pit, fix all the damage, take on new tires and a full tank of gas. This will be a key moment in the race for me. A full load of fuel, four fresh tires, and repairing all the damage would take about a minute and 35 seconds. And that doesn't count the pit entry time or the pit exit time. What I had no way of knowing was that Neil, even though he had to have sustained even more damage than I did, was going to opt not to repair his damage, thus resulting in a 35 second pit stop. Now repeat this scenario on our second rounds of pit stop, and I've now lost two minutes to Neil that I will never get back. From now on, I will take my pit strategy a little more serious. All I can think is, 
either that P2 car of Neil's is one very tough car or he's an expert at driving a damaged car. Can't imagine how slow this pit lane speed limit feels when you know your race is slipping away. So the final results for St. Petersburg are first place overall winner and winner in P2 class Neil Johnson, second and winner in P1 class Brian Farmer. Third, Steen Nielsen. Fourth, Paul Rain. Fifth, and winner in GT2 class, Kevin Wood. Sixth, Charlie Roberts. Seventh, Steen Franta. So congrats to Neil and Kevin. And thank you for watching another episode of the Team Barista Champion Motorsports Race Review from St. Petersburg. See you next time in Montreal. <laughs>